This med mastery lesson will help you recognize the most common patterns of solid organ injury, including hematoma, laceration, and active bleeding. Trauma is a leading cause of death worldwide. Hemodynamically unstable patients with low blood pressure and decreased organ perfusion often proceed directly to the operating room for surgical exploration of injuries without undergoing imaging studies first. However, in many cases, CT imaging plays a major role in diagnosing and triaging patients who present with acute traumatic injury. Non-operative management is preferred for many solid organ injuries. It results in similar or better long-term outcomes compared to surgery. We can broadly classify trauma as blunt or penetrating. Blunt trauma includes injuries from motor vehicle accidents, falls, sports, and assaults. Penetrating trauma includes gunshot, knife wound, and other objects which pierce the skin and cause internal injury. When reading a trauma abdominal CT scan, you should follow the same basic search pattern as for non traumatic abdominal CT. Look at each major organ but with an emphasis on looking for signs of traumatic injury in the context of the patient's presentation. Take some time to review the history and mechanism of trauma. Check if there are external signs of injury, such as bruising, bleeding, or penetrating injury, and find out if the trauma team has any specific concerns based on their exam. These points can all be extremely helpful in refining your search pattern, directing your focus to areas of concern, and making appropriate assessments about the indeterminate findings. In order to understand trauma scans, you will need to use new terminology that characterizes abdominal injuries. As you begin your review of a trauma CT, one of the first things that alerts you to the presence of significant injury is blood surrounding an injured organ and spreading throughout the abdomen. Hemoperitoneum is the term for blood in the peritoneal cavity. In this example, there is a large amount of hemoperitoneum surrounding the liver and spleen. The blood has a density of 35 Hounsfield units, or HU, which is much greater than simple fluid. At first glance, hemoperitoneum might look similar to ascites, but blood will have an increased density, and you may even see denser areas within the blood indicating clot formation. Ascites is generally less than 20 Hounsfield units, whereas blood will range in density from 30 to 70 Hounsfield units or even higher if there is active bleeding containing contrast. When the bleeding is brisk, it often looks like bright, swirling jets arising from the area of injury. Active bleeding is also called active extravasation, which describes the fact that contrast of pacified blood is seen leaking from arteries or veins due to injury. Peritoneal blood often accumulates in the pelvis because of its gravity-dependent position. Pelvic blood can be related to pelvic injury or blood from another source in the abdomen. Here you see dense blood in the pelvis related to vascular injury of the mesentery. There can also be retroperitoneal blood in the space behind the peritoneum, often related to renal or adrenal injury. In this example, there is blood surrounding the kidney related to renal injury and hemorrhage. The density here is 45 Hounsfield units. Whenever you find blood, All organs and vasculature must be carefully evaluated to identify the source of the bleeding and direct the trauma team's management. When describing injury to the solid organs, there is a range of progressive injuries, including subcapsular hematoma, which is accumulation of blood under the organ's capsule, contusion, which is hematoma or bruising of the organ tissue, laceration, which is a cut in the organ tissue of varying thickness and depth, active bleeding, where you will see contrast mixed blood from an injury, and devascularization, which is the traumatic disruption of the organ's blood supply. On CT imaging, hematomas are relatively vague areas of decreased enhancement, whereas lacerations are linear, cut-like areas through the tissue. We'll look at injuries to specific organs in the upcoming Med Mastery lessons. So I hope you liked this video absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.